Splat oh. on the table. Oh. Hello, you guys. Unfortunately, it is not the weekend yet, but I'm going to be drinking a sparkling wine cocktail. We got this from Trader Joe's yesterday, so I've been really curious to try it. It's called the Simpler Wines in the flavor peach, and it's an Italian wine cocktail. It's so cute. This little can is just very aesthetic. All right, so let's try this baby out. Cheers. Oh wow, mm -hmm. it kind of tastes like a Bellini or a Mimosa. It's good. I was just expecting something a little bit more wine-like, <laughs> but it definitely tastes like a peach Mimosa. I mean, I'm not complaining, it tastes really good. This would be really great for like a picnic or at the pool or something or at the beach. It is 6.20 p.m. and I'm really hungry. I was really craving like Korean barbecue chicken. Charlie's gonna go pick some up and fries are in the oven right now. So we're gonna have some naughty food today. I also wanted to show you guys a couple things that Rael, I am so hoping that I'm saying that brand name right because that is quite embarrassing if I keep saying it wrong. I'm gonna actually Google it. <laughs> it's a YouTube video. Real. Oh, really? Oh. It's pronounced rail. Okay, I guess I was saying that wrong the whole time. So rail, I'm gonna have to get used to saying that because they are one of my favorite skincare brands as well as feminine products brand. It is super interesting that they sell feminine products as well as skincare like in one brand under one umbrella, but I think it's pretty cool. I love their panty liners and a lot of their feminine care products as well as their skincare because I hauled a bunch of their skincare items in the past, like maybe a couple weeks ago. They found my video and I was like fangirling a little bit because they actually followed me on Instagram and I was like, <gasps> what? I think the CEO of Rail is so inspiring, especially as an Asian woman herself, I just think She's amazing and incredible. So I'm a huge fan of the brand and the brand owner or CEO. She's actually Korean herself, so you know, I'm a Korean pride. <laughs> they found my YouTube video and she actually, I don't know who it was, maybe it was like the social media 
person, but someone contacted me through their Instagram account. They were so nice and they actually asked me if I was interested in trying out any of their other products. I told them that I've been dying to try out their underwear like period panties because I've been on a period panty kick you guys I've been trying so many brands well not so many but I've been trying a couple brands because I wanted to review them holistically for you guys as well as two other skincare products which they actually were so so kind to send to me so I wanted to unbox unbox them for you guys. I actually took it out of the packaging because it's easier for me to show you. They sent me their period panties. I'm so excited to try this out. They sent me a size small and a size medium, but uh, the medium is going to be way too big for me. So I'm going to give it away to a friend. I'm, I'm actually thinking of giving it to Ashley because I know that she wears medium underwear. Is that weird that I know that about my friend? It's because we were talking about undergarments literally the last time we saw each other. These are the size small in the period panties and they're just in the color black super simple design it's very minimalistic it's in a bikini style and like all period panties it does have like a thicker lining at the crotch area and you guys will definitely see these in a future video while i'm reviewing all period things in that video click on the notification bell so you don't miss out on it because it's gonna be a fun one. I'm like really obsessed with like sustainable, reusable period products. If you guys are wondering or curious at all, I also do use a reusable silicone menstrual cup. So if you guys want any like information on that, I could definitely do like a separate video on that as well. Not for the faint of heart because obviously the nature of a period cup is not very pleasant, but I will definitely you know, let you guys know my personal experience with that if you guys are interested. Sorry, my allergies are just so bad this year. It has got to take the cake for like the worst year for me in terms of allergies. Okay, let's move on to skincare. They gifted me the calming Sika. I think that's how you say it, cleansing water. First of all, I'm just obsessed with their aesthetic. It is so so cute i love these like pastel light colors that they use in all of their products this one is super interesting to me because i love the ingredient sika i think that's how you say it sika <laughs> It has Asiatica extract, which I also love so, so much. It's in a lot of K-beauty skincare products. And it also have hyaluronic acid, which is a very popular ingredient as well. But it's supposed to help remove all traces of makeup and impurities. Basically a cleansing water. I am currently using my micellar water from Bioderma. That's my go-to because I just buy those big bulk ones from Costco because they're so much cheaper. They're not like miraculous, you know? I mean, they're really good, but they're not like out of this world good. You know what I'm saying? It doesn't like wow me. It's just a very good basic micellar water. It takes out, it does what it's supposed to do. I definitely am itching to try something new in that cleansing water realm. So I'm so excited to try this. I mean, look how cute is this packaging, okay? So freaking adorable. I got the Creamy Moisture Mist. This one intrigued me because it's basically a moisturizer in a spray form. I think this would be really good to like refresh your skin throughout the day if you're really dehydrated and like at the beach or something, like when you're not wearing any makeup as like a on the go moisturizer. It comes with a cap, which is really nice. And it's that very, very pretty blue color. And yeah, it does look very liquidy inside. Can't wait to try these products out and let you guys know how I feel about them. I am currently using all of the rail, rail skincare products that I hauled in that video. Like currently it's in my skincare routine and I genuinely love like all of the products that I hauled from that video. I'm gonna do like a whole skincare routine in a future vlog, so make sure to keep an eye open for that as well. I'm gonna feature a lot of great products, so I'm so excited to share that with you. I will try these out and let you guys know how I feel. Also, how crazy is it that my hair grew already to how it was before? Just took these fries out of the oven. 
Mm, so, so good. I am taking a short lunch break from work today. It is Thursday. I just wanted to show you guys what I'm eating. It's from Trader Joe's. We got it yesterday. And it's the lemon basil pasta salad. Oh, I'm so excited for it. I am a huge fan of like pasta salads because they're so easy to eat. It requires basically no effort. You just take it out of the fridge and it's ready for you to eat. But yeah, this is basically what it is. I have some cantaloupes as well on the side. This is what it looks like. Looks pretty messy. <laughs> it has lettuce, cheese, green peas, and some lemon juice. Yeah, this is a very tight container to put all of this in, but let's go ahead and try. That's good. I mean, it's not that flavorful, but. So this we also got from Trader Joe's and it's the Trader Joe's vegan Caesar dressing. It's made with tofu, olive oil, lemon juice, white miso, Dijon mustard, and capers. I already tried this. It's actually pretty good. That's what it is. I really like this. It's pretty runny, so it's not as creamy as your typical Caesar dressing, but I think this will help this salad. That's basically what it looks like. Yeah, it tastes a lot better with the Caesar dressing. Okay, I'm gonna finish eating and then go back to work. <laughs> hey guys, I am back. It's Thursday at like almost 6 p.m. And this is not alcohol, by the way. It is cucumber watermelon juice from Trader Joe's. It is so freaking good. I highly recommend it. It's so refreshing. It kind of reminds me of like those hotel waters, but like in the best way. You know what I'm talking about? Like those fruit waters that they like infuse into yeah. like a giant thing, but like way better than that. <laughs> Obviously, it's like fresher. I did a total body workout on the mirror and I'm dying currently. My muscles are aching. I feel like the mirror workouts are honestly the most intense because they really do target specific areas of your body and specific muscle groups. So I get so, so sore like a couple days out. I only do those like twice a week. Anyway, I wanted to show you guys kind of like a mini weird haul. I call it weird because it's underwear. I haven't found underwear that I am in love with yet. I do have a few good ones, but I haven't found like the brand that I really, really like for underwear, like super comfortable underwear. So if you guys have any suggestions or recommendations for brands, specifically for underwear. How many times can I say underwear in this video? Let me know in the comments because I would love to know and I would love to try it out. But I got the brand Gilly Hicks, which is like owned by the Abercrombie Hollister chain. I got these because my close friend Ashley, she actually recommended these. She said that they're really, really comfortable and they have these like really good seamless ones. So I got nine pairs. There's quite a lot of different styles because I wanted to try like one of everything and see if any of them work out for me. I got all of them in an extra small. I tend to run between like an extra small to a small uh, depending on the brand, but I got an extra small because she thinks the extra smalls would fit me. So let me show you guys. I got a couple like of those like boy short ones. I'm not a huge fan of those for wearing like underneath tight clothing or anything because they do show like a prominent line. However, I love wearing these when I'm wearing skirts or dresses because they cover you more. So when you're like sitting down or by accident, your skirt or dress like lifts up or something, you're more covered in that area. So I got a black and a white and I got both of them in an extra small. This one's the black one. It looks really tiny, but they have a really good stretch to them. So hopefully they will be comfortable. They're supposed to be seamless, but I feel like most boy shorts aren't really seamless. So I will let you guys know if I like these, but I got them in a black, a white, 
And I definitely feel like the white ones are show like see-through. Not that it matters because they're gonna be underneath your clothing anyway, but they are super, super see-through. I'm pretty sure like you could probably see your vagina through, through this. So inappropriate, sorry. Okay, moving on. I have a couple ones that are a little bit more on the sexy side. I hate that word, by the way. Let's say sultry. I have these ones that are a little more risque. It has a total lace back. So it's really, really cute. These are the white ones. I always go for more neutral shades like light nude colors and whites for underwear because I can wear white you know, clothing or see-through clothing and they're like the most safe. It is, I think, a hip hugger, so a little bit better coverage than like your typical cheeky. I also got that in a black. The black one is super cute and the same lace back. And then I got very basic, simple, seamless cheekies and hip huggers, I believe. These two I got in a kind of like a beige nude color. And this is a hip hugger and it's supposed to be seamless. Like, I'm not sure if you can see the fabric in the video, but they're that very like spandexy but super thin material. I hope they last a while, but I feel like I'm definitely gonna have to be a little bit more careful, like especially with my nails or my rings or something. If it gets caught, it probably will rip. They are super, stretchy and super soft. That one was a hip hugger and then I got two cheekies and I got a same color nude beige cheeky. Shows a little bit more in the back. It's like cut a little bit more narrower so it's not as full coverage. This one is also a cheeky but this is cute because it's white and it has lace on the sides. Okay, so I'm not really a thong person because I just think they're like the most uncomfortable things to wear. I don't care what anyone else says. I cannot imagine a thong being comfortable at all, regardless of the brand, the material, the style. Like, it's just, I can't imagine them being comfortable. But I did grab them in a white, the same kind of style as the cheeky ones. This has the side panels with lace. Um, it's the white and it is a thong. And then I got this one, which is a very plain beige one with the thong style. Like I said, I'm not a thong person, but I did grab these two because my friend Ashley says that they're really comfortable and sometimes you just cannot get away with wearing non-thong underwear in certain clothing. Some clothing that are super, super tight and they're like a light color, you just have to wear a thong with them. So I will let you guys know if I like them, but yeah, all nine pairs. <laughs> now, Charlie and I are going to have our own little homemade charcuterie cheese board with some wine tonight. I will keep you guys posted. Quickly, I wanted to share with you guys this wine because I saw Cleo, one of my friends here on YouTube. I love her videos. She does like a lot of fitness and health and food related videos. And she recommended the Growers Reserve wines from Trader Joe's and it's like super inexpensive. I think it's about five, five dollars per bottle. So we got the Merlot, which is this one, as well as the Cap Sauve. We're gonna just try the Merlot today. So I just wanted to share this wine with you guys as well. and fruity. Cherry and fruity -y. <laughs> It's pretty good for like a $5 wine. Yeah, this is really good. Definitely not as full bodied as I like, but it's a Merlot, so obviously it's going to be a little bit on the lighter side. I think it'll be a good people pleaser, like, you know, and it's cost effective. <laughs> okay guys, by the way, I just want to point out this shirt that Charlie's wearing. It says Montreal and then nature's calling and then a bathroom 
and there's a bunch of animals going to the bathroom or in line for the bathroom. Yeah, pictures going. Yeah, and it just reminds me of like a Boy Scout shirt or something. I don't, I don't know why, but it's so cute. Thanks. Hey guys, happy weekend. I'm so <laughs> excited. <laughs> Charlie and I are <laughs> driving to DC because we are going to this place called Canopy. It's a bar and it's, you know, they sell food, I think. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, they, do. they do. So it's like a bar restaurant inside the wharf, which is a really cute place. I, I think I took you guys there with me once before a couple weeks ago in a vlog. I'm really excited to take you guys along with us. I just have a really casual outfit and I will obviously share my outfit with you guys on my Instagram. So go ahead and check me out over there. But it's a super casual outfit today. Um, I did do my makeup and put on some lashes. Enough rambling, I will see you guys over there. Sorry, my throat is a little hoarse today. It's because I was yelling a lot yesterday <laughs> when we were out in DC, but there were a lot of people. We are at the little clinic for our second dose of the vaccine for COVID, obviously. Yeah, I wanted to bring you guys along with us for this vaccination. Wish us luck. I know, seriously. <laughs> I heard this is the worst one, so, or the worst one out of the two doses, so. We're getting Pfizer. After today, we'll be fully vaccinated, so I'm excited for that. All right, see you guys inside. It is Sunday. Sunday, right? Oh my gosh. I have issues. It's officially been about 20, oh, a little over 24 hours. So basically like 24 to 26 hours since we've gotten our second dose yesterday because we got it in the morning yesterday and now it's like almost 11 a.m. Last night, I forgot to vlog last night, but we didn't really get any, at least I didn't get any symptoms. Um, like I didn't feel sick or anything. I was a little tired, but I felt way more tired during my first dose. Yesterday, I did not feel any different. What about you? I didn't really feel any different. I just couldn't sleep on my uh, my left side, which is the side that I got the shot on. Yeah, it's a little um, sore, right? Yeah, so I was like kind of tossing and turning to find like the right way to sleep. I don't know if this was like because I was cold or because of the vaccination, but like I just kind of felt cold for like during that period of time that I was kind of tossing and turning. But, like last night, right? Yeah, like mm -hmm. last night. So I couldn't sleep for an hour, but mm -hmm. I'm okay. Yeah, I literally didn't feel any different. Like, it might be because I did take Tylenol around like 11 p.m. Mm -hmm. last night. So maybe that mitigated the effects. I had no fever, no chills, like no body aches, except for, you know, like the sore sight. Nothing else, really. I didn't feel that different. And then today I woke up feeling fine as well. But yeah, no soreness. Uh, I didn't take ty Tylenol yesterday, which is probably why I pro felt like chills, but um, my body soared, but that's just because I worked out yesterday. Um, mm, which was a good thing. I didn't work out, I should've, because I heard that it helps with like the soreness oh, and stuff because yep. of like the body circul- like the blood circulation. Oh, okay. My arm is pretty sore, but nothing crazy. I mean, 
I feel like so many of our friends were dying the second dose, but my symptoms were worse for my first dose. It's still early to speak, <laughs> but no symptoms yet. It's crazy, knock on wood. I really thought that I was going to die. <laughs> People were scaring me about the second dose. I guess everybody has a different reaction, but... For sure, yeah. Um, anyway. Yeah, we're vaccinated now. <laughs> what did I say? Couples who get vaccinated together? <laughs> and you should make it like a rainbow thing that goes whoosh. Like in Spongebob? Oh yeah. my gosh. Imagination. Isn't that, isn't that what he says? I think so. We're gonna head out. We're heading to the mall because I really want to take a look at some handbags at Louis Vuitton and Prada and just like look around and stuff. We live really close to like this fancy mall that has like all the brand designer stores or boutiques in there. So we're just gonna look around, see what's out there. I will show you guys my outfit really quick. Sorry. That's... Okay, bye. Okay, thanks. Oh, I'm so sorry. Okay. <laughs> Quick outfit of the day. So for my jewelry, these ones are so cute. They're very, very thin hoops. And I got these from Madewell a while ago. And surprisingly, Madewell has really good quality jewelry. These have not tarnished like at all. And I'm pretty sure it's not like gold filled or anything. So very, very impressed by Madewell's jewelry. And my hair is a mess. I just woke up like this and I was like, okay, no time to do my hair today. My top is from Urban Outfitters. It is a halter top. It's ribbed and it's super, super cute. I love the color. And as you can see the back, I actually matched my eye makeup to my shirt. I thought it was kind of cute. Um, it, I did it with my Natasha Denona Zendo palette that I got and I featured in my last vlog. For the pants, I got these from Mod & Bow. They kindly gifted these to me a while back. And these are just really cute, <laughs> really cute white mom jeans like mom fit jeans but they are a little bit more on the slimmer end so i really like these i'm going to be wearing my platform white vans for the shoes well this is what it looks like i am going to be carrying my curated handbag it's a crossbody bag i love this i did an unboxing of this purse if you guys are interested in watching that i will go ahead and link it right here this weather it's super sunny outside it's about 85 degrees so it's pretty hot i think this is really cute all right i'll see you guys over there <laughs> hello hello hello, hello. <laughs> So uh, we came to the mall a little too early. <laughs> 40 minutes early before it opens. We thought it opened at 11, but it opens at 12. <laughs> so we're just walking around. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Good morning, guys. It is Monday morning to be exact. I'm just going to put on a little bit of makeup to get ready like for the day because I always feel a little bit more ready and prepared for the day if I put on a little bit of makeup and I feel more presentable. So I'm just gonna use my Say Slip Tint for the day. It has like barely any coverage, but it's really nice as just a tinted moisturizer. I wanted to share with you guys my symptoms of the COVID vaccine. It's been officially two days, two full days, like 48 hours since we've gotten the second vaccine. It's interesting because my last check-in was at like exactly 24 hours. I felt really, really fatigued. And so I had to take a nap. I did experience some body aches for sure. I had to take some Tylenol to help with that but i felt like my skin was like super sensitive it felt like my muscles were so so sensitive to touch it did feel kind of like a flu-like symptom i took tylenol when that happened and i took a nap and about three hours later i felt normal again like i didn't feel the body aches anymore like no headaches or anything i did feel slightly dizzy but nothing crazy in terms of like migraines or anything like that. I gotta say my soreness around my arm where I got the shot, it's not as sore. Like the muscle pains on my arm aren't as bad. However, I did realize that when I was looking into the mirror yesterday, I don't know if you could still see it, but it's a little bit more red right here. 
and it's really weird and it's tender to the touch and it's kind of hot. I'm not sure if you can see that on camera, but it is significantly more red right in this area than the rest of my arm. And my other arm isn't like that, so I know that it's because of the shot. Still is a little bit present today, but it was worse last night. So I was like, why is it swollen? It does feel swollen, which I didn't feel during the first dose, but just very different. I would say overall, the symptoms were milder for my second dose. If you guys haven't seen that vlog where I got my first shot, um, it is available on my channel if you guys are curious or if you guys are interested in watching it. Also, quick note, my under eye circles have gotten so much worse. <laughs> I'm just gonna put on some brows. This is literally all I do on days that I don't wanna wear that much makeup, but I still want to look a little bit fresh. But yeah, that is basically what I wanted to tell you guys today. All I'm doing today is working basically. After work, I'm gonna get in a workout. I'm sure my arm will be a little bit sore today for a workout, but it'll be fine. I'll chuck through it. After the workout, I seriously need to do some wedding planning. Like it's not even funny anymore how many times I've put that off. Every single day, I'm like, oh, I can I can wait until tomorrow. I can wait until tomorrow. I've been doing that for like the last two weeks. Um, my friend and bridesmaid Michelle can preach to that because she's been waiting for me to give her some answers and I still haven't gotten back to her yet, which is a problem. So I'm gonna, ugh, I'm really gonna try hard to do some planning today. Then I'm gonna try to edit this video. Alrighty guys, I'm gonna end this vlog right here because I don't think there's anything coming up for me to show you guys. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this weekly vlog. For next week's vlog, I am so, so excited because I'm going to be using a new vlogging camera that I just purchased and I'm gonna try to film that Abercrombie swimwear haul for you guys for this for next week's vlog so make sure to turn on that notification bell so you don't miss out on that and I will see you guys next week please like if you haven't already subscribe if you want to stick around and I will talk to you guys in the comments bye